Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Think about it Thursday. What have I been thinking about? 22 TCM. It's a bottleneck round with a 40 grain 22 bullet in there. It's fast, it's loud, it has a huge muzzle flash. It's a ton of fun, zero recoil. And it was developed in 2012. And its main competitor is the 5.7 by 28 millimeter. It's also a bottleneck round that is fast and loud. But if you align them, you'll see that the 5.7 by 28 millimeter is longer. But the 22 TCM, which was developed in 2012, had a couple setbacks, and I want to explain that. Back in 2012, this gained popularity because the only firearms chambered in 5.7 that I can remember is the FN PS90 rifle for about two grand and the FN 5.7 pistol for about $1,200. And people said, you know, I would love to have that, but it is so expensive. And the ammo was even expensive back then. So the 22 TCM seemed to be an outstanding alternative. The ammo is a little bit less expensive, not a lot, but a little bit, but its primary producer was Arms Corps and still is. And Rock Island Armory produced firearms. Here's a 1911 that I have called the TAC Ultra Chambered in 22 TCM. It also has a nine millimeter barrel and a recoil spring and it shares the same 10 round magazine so it was ultra flexible a lot of options with this pistol rock island also makes a bolt action rifle and advanced tactical a company of rock island armory makes barrels and recoil springs that are drop in for glock but the 22 tcm had a couple setbacks what are they the first thing is that arms corps is the only producer in Rock Island is the only producer of the firearms right there that's a setback secondly they have some Rock Island polymer pistols that chamber it but that has to be chambered in 22 TCM R the R is just a hair shorter and those are the same rounds that will chamber in a Glock with a drop-in 22 TCM barrel now to find the difference between the standard 22 TCM and the 22 TCM R, which is just a little bit shorter, made it difficult to purchase. And everything was based on Rock Island Armory. And then what happened? Well, as time went on, you saw that the uh, 5.7 by 28 millimeters started to gain more and more popularity just when it seemed like 22 TCM was going to be the main 22 bottleneck round that was going to gain popularity Ruger comes out with the their own version of the 5.7 pistol Diamondback comes out with the DBX 5.7 now we're seeing all kinds of firearms like Caltech and Palmetto State Armory come out with their versions of 5.7 and this has been left in the dust the 22 TCM Not a lot of ammo available It's fairly expensive albeit a little less than the 5.7 But when firearms are chambered in a round that people enjoy shooting bottleneck or no bottleneck It's going to suffer some setbacks and that's what I think happened with 30 Super Carry. 30 Super Carry, a lot of people said this is going to be the next round that's going to take off and become a big deal. The problem is very few handguns are chambered in it. So how can it be a viable CCW option when very few firearms are chambered in 30 Super Carry? Well, the same goes for 22 TCM. This right here, this one, is ballistically superior by, by a little a noticeable difference than the 5.7, but the 5.7 was popular enough to have companies like Ruger, Diamondback, Palmetto, Caltech, chamber firearms in 5.7, which made it more attractive to many people. And the ammo is still very expensive, but we're seeing more and more of this. So this had a resurgence from what I consider a once dead round, and this was once a up-and-coming champion has now 
died off, and that is the 22 TCM. Because you have to get the 22 TCM R for the, the pistols, this standard 22 TCM will work. It just made it more difficult. And if you're not a fan of Rock Island Armory and you don't want their handguns, then good luck getting a 22 TCM. You never hear about anybody dropping in a barrel and recoil spring in a Glock with 22 TCM. But um, think about it Thursday. What I would like to know is, do you have any interest in 22 TCM? Or has, has your desire been replaced with 5.7 by 28 millimeter both are a ton of fun both huge muzzle flash they 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 take a 22 long rifle and just destroy it ballistically great penetration great small game hunting round and it offers a lot to those who love fast moving low recoil 22 projectiles and both of those will offer that one has one round for many firearms the other one has two rounds for specific firearms with only one manufacturer of firearms, and that is the 22 TCM. So those are the sub setbacks, and the 5.7 has enjoyed a uprising of popularity, primarily, I think, because of Ruger, and then all the others that followed making that a more popular choice in today's world. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.